morning guys it is friday fridays are awesome days uh, and it's morning and i'm gonna head to work in just a little minute it's i've been up since five o'clock so almost two hours now i have um, done all of the things i usually do you know upload videos and stuff like that <laughs> a funny thing um i upload the video uh, everything was good i have scheduled all the posts everything is good and then i looked at the video and i was annotating it because i always annotate at the end of the videos and i realized that yesterday when i created the video uh, i always always attach a little bit of music at the end of the video um, and this is usually much longer than my last clip so I'm cutting that down yesterday I forgot to do that so it was like a three minutes of a black screen <laughs> or something like that or even longer um, and I didn't realize it until I uploaded it and I don't have time to re-export it because that takes several hours but YouTube is very nice to have some sort of editing in their YouTube thingy. So they have a, a cutting tool so I could cut off those uh, couple of minutes that was just black. Which is awesome. I really needed the, to be able to do that. So the video is now down to under 10 minutes as it was supposed to be. Adventures. This is the first time I'm actually using the YouTube cutting tools, so we'll see how it looks. It needs to be reprocessed, but that isn't that big of a problem because the video won't be up until 9 anyway, so um, it has a couple of hours to do that. But yeah, today's Friday. I don't know how the day will be, but I'm about to head to work. I was gonna put some pants on. <laughs> um, but yeah, good morning guys. I hope you have an awesome day. Hi guys, it is uh, after work day. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't schedule, I worked my full day today. Um, I'm quite tired today. I really don't know what it is. Uh, probably just overdid the couple of days that have been but I did do my my job today so that is that feels very satisfying that when I got went home I've already done my job so no sick days and that is awesome I am sitting here uh, in my living room in my sofa and kind of disconnecting I have felt There is, I have so many musts everywhere all the time and I really, really needed to sort of just relax for a little while. So I put up my little iPad and I am uh, watching some Floss Tube. Uh, when I've watched this episode, watching coffee at the moment actually. I'm watching coffee at the moment. Uh, and when I watched her video, I will um, put some uh, audiobook on. And I'm stitching. I'm st stitching my beers. Uh, as I said before, I don't have a strict rotation. I basically go by page. But uh, I, I don't really. I haven't really figured out how that kind of rotation is going to be with my beers. With the heads, it's very very easy because I have one page per. All the pages are very unison in size so um, I do one page and then I go on and that is how I do my head but when it comes to the beers is it I'm wondering if I'm gonna do one beer which I already kind of failed because I actually working quite a lot on the second beer because that is in frame so am I going to do one frame or am I going to work with my beers to, to, to I get bored or feel that I need to do my head. I know that I'm switching it out uh, tomorrow. Uh, the new pattern comes out on Saturday 
but I do not know which time. I haven't figured that out. So, um, we'll see. Uh, if I have gotten the pattern when I wake up tomorrow, then I'm gonna start working on the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery uh, image and do the March frame. So, we'll see. But then I either will go back to my beers and or uh, start working on some of the um, other heads. I think that I am supposed to go in and work with Brath. So that is possibly, poss probably what I would do when it comes to cross stitching. Yeah. But I'm also going to make a whole bunch of cards this weekend. And I even might go out and meet my parents or visit my parents. Um, we live pretty close. It's like one and a half hour drive to my parents. So it's not, not a long drive. It doesn't take a long time. But you always have other things to do, so I rarely go there, but uh, we've been thinking about going there. It depends on how I feel. Yeah. That is what I'm doing right now. Um, my kitties just got in from the balcony, so I'm going to go and close the balcony door because it is... It's actually plus. It's positive degrees, it's 3.8 degrees outside, so it's pretty chilly, and it's Celsius, chilly degrees, and now they ran out again. So, uh, while they're out in the balcony, they, I have the door open, but I want to have it kind of not open, because it gets chilly inside. <laughs> yeah, that's how it is. Um, but I'm gonna continue doing my cross stitch. Oh guys, no glasses! Well, I am finally taking the step. I'm gonna bleach my hair. I don't care if I'm a little bit tired. I want my hair colour back. I want that striking dark pink that I had in November. <laughs> it's so long ago I coloured and I really, really need to colour. And you might actually have seen most of my bathroom now because it's a mirror there. But yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna actually dye my hair. So. I'll see you in a bit. Well, my hair is all prepared with plastic and stuff. And I thought I'd t tell, you, tell you about the process that I am doing my colouring. Um, first of all, home bleaching, as I do, can hurt your hair quite a lot. So if you have any kind of darker hair, you should really go to a hairdresser. And if you want to bleach long hair, I would also say go to a hairdresser. I, ooh, I use... This packaging, this is my second bottle, I always have one extra with me, hope you see what it is. Um, it is the Extreme Platinum because it lightens the most, it all will then also uh, kind of hurt your hair the most, so that's a good thing to think about. I just do my roots, I don't bleach my length or I try not to bleach my length because the hair will uh, stay stronger much much longer. And then after I put it on, I put on uh, plastic. It's like plastic foliage, the one you have in the kitchen. You can see that again. <laughs> um, the one you have in the kitchen. Um, oops. <clears throat> also, I use um, vinyl gloves, special gloves. I don't use the one that comes with the packaging. I use my own. Uh, so yeah, that's basically how I prepare it, then I let it go for the time that it's supposed to be and then I just wash it out. And I do it one day before I put my colour in because then the bleach and the colour won't react so that I will get the deepest pink that I can. Well guys, it is evening and I'm tired so I'm gonna head to bed. Um, I spend most of the evening in the sofa with Christopher and watching uh, TV uh, and I've done a lot of uh, cross stitching actually I've gotten a uh, whole bunch done almost done with the last bear um, I showed you the other day how I was thinking about doing it so I still have I think three colors left four colors left on the first bear and um, some stitches that I have to get done around her because it's a her, she has a dress and it's pink I, I say it's a her at least um, <laughs> and then I'm gonna do the back stitching so that is done 
yeah, I'm going to do the back stitching before my cross stitch is done. I never do that. We'll see if I like it or not. Yeah. But still, I have to cover as much as possible before I do that. And the rest of the evening, I've actually been coloring. It's really, really nice. I'm trying things out. That is basically what I do right now. Uh, we have a challenge over at Make It Crafty that starts this 7th and as a DT member you have to prepare your projects beforehand and stuff like that and Make It Crafty do more complex colouring challenges. A lot of challenges out there is like use a sketch or um, use a specific thing on your cards like sequins or st stuff like that. Uh, with Make It Crafty it's always colouring challenges and um, I really really like that because that actually pushes me outside the comfort zone, outside my own comfort zone a lot and that is the only way to grow is to get out of your comfort zone. And Thankfully, I kind of knew what I wanted to do. I never done this, so this was totally just first try. We'll see if I go in and make a second try. Um, I might with other colors, but I think it didn't get as clear as I wanted. I wanted to have more, more contrast in itself. Um, so we'll see, I might do that. I'm not showing you, I'm not telling you what it is, no, but I'm having a lot of fun and that is what is important, right? Right? So yeah, adventure tomorrow, bed now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna head to bed, I'm tired, I can't even think, so good night, sleep tight, and don't let the bed bugs bite. Bye.